Hello guys, welcome back to Bike Geek. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to scan and delete viruses using command prompt on your Windows PC or laptop. Now, you might be wondering, why use command prompt for this? Well, sometimes certain viruses can severely disrupt your system, making Windows unstable or even unresponsive. In such cases, standard antivirus tools may fail to launch or function correctly. Command Prompt offers a powerful, direct way to identify and eliminate threats, even when the usual security apps can't run. If you still have access to your desktop, here's a powerful way to detect and remove suspicious programs using Command Prompt. First, click on the Windows search bar, type CMD, right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes when prompted. This gives you full permission to execute critical system level commands. Let's begin with identifying running processes. Type the command task list, then press enter. You'll now see a list of all processes currently running on your system. Carefully scan through the list and focus on files ending in .exe. If anything looks suspicious or unfamiliar, it could potentially be harmful. To stop a suspicious process, highlight its name, copy it, and then type this command task kill forward slash f space forward slash im then paste the process name or type it then press enter if successful you'll see a message confirming that the process has been terminated this helps shut down any active malware running in the background next let's scan a specific drive where you suspect a virus may reside open file explorer go to this pc and identify the drive letter you want to scan. Go back to command prompt and switch to that drive. For example, to scan the C drive, type C colon and press enter. Now type the next command to uncover and clean hidden system and read only files. You can copy and paste this command from my video description. This command will list and modify all hidden files, making it easier to identify suspicious ones. Once this is done, type DIR, then press enter. This will display all the files in the selected drive. Look through the list carefully. If you come across a file that looks unfamiliar or strange, especially something named autorun.inf, take note. It's often used by malware and trojans to auto-execute malicious code when a drive is accessed. If you find this file, type this command, delete autorun.inf, and press enter to delete it. Still unsure about a specific file? You can copy the file name, paste it into Google, and check if it's safe or harmful before removing it. This method gives you a direct and powerful way to remove stubborn viruses or malware without relying on third-party tools, especially helpful when your system is unstable or inaccessible through normal methods. Now let's move on to the next step. Go to Windows search bar and type msconfig and open the Microsoft configuration. Here, switch to the Startup tab and then click Open Task Manager. In Task Manager window, review the list of startup programs. Look for any suspicious or unfamiliar applications. If you spot something you don't recognize or trust, right click on it and select Disable. Many types of malware, including Trojans, embed themselves in the startup folder, automatically launching every time you boot your system. Disabling them here helps ensure they don't return after you've removed them. Once done, return to the system configuration window and go to the boot tab. If you want to run a deeper scan in a more secure environment, you can enable safe boot. Check the safe boot option and select network so you still have internet access. Then click apply, hit OK and restart your PC. It will boot into safe mode with networking. Lastly, I strongly recommend running a full system scan using Windows Security. To do this, open Windows Security. Once it opens, go to Virus and Threat Protection and click Quick Scan to let Windows check for any malware, trojans or viruses and remove it from your system. And that's it for today's video. I hope this step-by-step -step guide helped you successfully detect and remove any hidden viruses using the command prompt, even if your system wasn't fully functional. 
These powerful commands can be a real lifesaver when traditional antivirus tools fail or Windows isn't working as expected. If this video made things easier for you, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Bike Geek for more tech fixes, tutorials, and troubleshooting guides just like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.